I want you to know that I had a number of people on my staff search for a reason the public would find palatable to commute the sentence. Technicality. Any evidence of racism. So your staff spent the weekend looking for a way out? Yeah. Like the kid in the right field who doesn't want the ball to get hit to him. I'm the leader of a democracy, Tom. 71% of the people support capital punishment. People have spoken, the courts have spoken. Did you call the Pope? Yeah. And how do you do that? Oh, for crying out loud, Tom. I open my mouth and say, somebody get me the Pope. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. President, but I was thinking... <sighs> you're just this kid from my parish, and now you're calling the Pope. Anyway, I looked for a way out, I really did. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You know what that means? God is the only one who gets to kill people. I know. That was your way out. I know. Did you pray? I did, Tom. I know it's hard to believe, but I prayed for wisdom. And none came. It never has. And I'm a little pissed off about that. I'm not kidding. You know, you remind me of the man that lived by the river. He heard a radio report that the river was going to rush up and flood the town, and that all the residents should evacuate their homes. But the man said, I'm religious. I pray. God loves me. God will save me. The waters rose up. A guy in a rowboat came along, and he shouted, hey, hey, you. You in there, the town is flooding. Let me take you to safety. But the man shouted back, I'm religious. I pray God loves me. God will save me. A helicopter was hovering overhead. And a guy with a megaphone shouted, Hey, you, you down there. The town is flooding. Let me drop this ladder and I'll take you to safety. But the man shouted back that he was religious, that he prayed that God loved him and that God would take him to safety. Well, the man drowned. And standing at the gates of St. Peter, he demanded an audience with God. Lord, he said, I'm a religious man, I pray. I thought you loved me. Why did this happen? God said, I sent you a radio report, a helicopter, and a guy in a rowboat. What the hell are you doing here? He sent you a priest, a rabbi, and a Quaker, Mr. President not to mention his son, Jesus Christ. What do you want from him? Excuse me. Jed, would you like me to hear your confession? Yes, please. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. 